Welcome to the Fulafia e-learning hub, your all-in-one virtual learning solution revolutionizing education in the digital age. Today, we'll explore how this innovative platform is breaking down barriers and connecting students and educators like never before. Introducing the e-learning hub, a dynamic virtual ecosystem comprising a powerful learning management system seamlessly integrated with Google Classroom and Google Meet. Each lecturer has a dedicated space to manage courses. Lecturers upload recorded lectures and course materials, creating a vibrant hub of knowledge accessible to students at any time. The Falafia eLearning Hub boasts an extensive e-library with millions of publications. It's a treasure trove for both students and staff, providing a wealth of resources at their fingertips. No more paperwork. Lecturers can assign tasks and grade students virtually. The platform facilitates real-time interaction and collaboration, transforming the traditional education landscape. Assignments made easy, grading made efficient, empowering both educators and students on their academic journey. With the integration of Google Meet, lecturers can conduct live virtual classes, fostering real-time engagement between educators and students. Experience the classroom atmosphere from the comfort of your own space, as lecturers host interactive sessions, discussions, and Q&A sessions seamlessly through Google Meet. In this tutorial, we'll cover everything from logging in for the first time to accessing your courses, submitting assignments, engaging in discussions, and much more. Before we dive in, I would like to emphasize that we will be updating the e-learning hub from time to time which may result in changes in some of the processes outlined in this tutorial. We will also be adding more tutorials as the need arises. In order not to miss out on any of these updates, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the like button, and ring the notification bell so that you will be instantly notified of any update. If you have any questions at the end of this tutorial, please drop your question in the comment box and we will address you appropriately. Now, let's get started with exploring the Federal University of Lafia eLearning Hub. The first step is to launch your browser using your smartphone, iPad, or laptop. If you are using a mobile device, ensure that you have an updated Chrome browser, Google Drive, and Google Classroom applications on your mobile device. To download these applications, follow these steps. After launching your browser, type the above address in the address bar, and hit the enter key on your keyboard. This brings you to the home page of the eLearning Hub. Proceed by selecting your program type. If you are a postgraduate student, select the first option. If you are a full-time undergraduate student, select the second option. If you are a part-time undergraduate student, select the third option. In this case, let's assume that I am a full-time undergraduate student. I will select the second option. After selecting your program category, you will be taken to the faculty page, showing all the faculties and departments of the university. It is important to note that only authorized staff and students will gain access to the course contents of the various departments on the e-learning hub. This is to avoid distractions in the virtual classrooms. To be granted access to the course centers and Google Classroom, all first-time students and course lecturers must do a one-time registration. 
After the registration, you will be granted access within 24 hours. Once you are given access, you will not need to register again for subsequent login. To register as a first-time user, kindly click on the register button and select whether you are a staff or student from the drop-down options. In this case, let's select the student option. Fill the registration form by providing all the required information. Before filling out the form, make sure that you are logged in with your correct email address. If the email address is not yours, click on the switch account link and change to your email account. This is very important because you will require your email address for subsequent access. Tick the box before the record email option and proceed to fill out the form by providing all required details. After filling out the form, click on the Add File button to attach your e-learning payment receipt. Provide your payment ID as shown on your e-learning payment receipt and click on the Submit button. Your information and evidence of payment uploaded will be verified and you will be granted access within 24 hours. The next thing to do after you have submitted your access request is to locate your faculty and department. Let's assume you are a student of the Department of Agronomy. Click on your department to proceed. Select Student Login. Select your level. Click here to proceed. This is the Access Confirmation page. If you can view this page, it means you have been granted access. Otherwise try after few minutes. This brings you to the Department of Agronomy. Select your level and semester. Select any course from the drop-down list. This brings you to the landing page for the course you have selected. Choose to either visit the course center or join Google Classroom for this course. The course center is where recorded lecture videos and course materials are uploaded for students. The Google Classroom is where students interact with their lecturers and fellow students virtually. Live interaction, continuous assessments and grading are all carried out in the Google Classroom. Now let's select the Visit the Course Center option. Here is the MTH111 Course Center. As you can see, there are guidelines for students. Below the guidelines are several lecture videos uploaded for students. Students have access to these videos 24-7. After watching the lecture videos, students are expected to meet with their course lecturers in the Google Classroom to ask questions where necessary. They can also engage with fellow students on various topics discussed in the lecture students videos. Students are advised to watch these lecture videos as many times as required to have a full understanding of the various topics covered in the videos. Lecturers will be assessing students virtually from time to time in the Google Classroom. Now let's visit Google Classroom to interact with students and the course lecturer. To do this, go back to the landing page for the course and click on Join Google Classroom. Select your correct email address and proceed to the Google Classroom. Make sure you join the Google Classroom with the same email address you used for the eLearning Hub registration. Welcome to Google Classroom. This is the dashboard for your selected course, MTH111. Every course has its classroom, created according to faculties and departments. 
Google Classroom has several tabs that organize different aspects of the platform. Each tab serves a specific purpose to help students and teachers navigate and manage their classes effectively. Here's an explanation of the main tabs in Google Classroom. Stream. The Stream tab serves as the main communication hub. It displays announcements, discussions, and notifications in a chronological order. Teachers can post announcements, students can engage in class discussions, and both parties can see updates on assignments and class activities. For instance, our course lecturer just announced that we will be having a live interaction by 2 p.m. today. This announcement will show on my stream and I will also receive an email notification. The Class Work tab is the central place for assignments, materials, and resources. Teachers organize the class content here, making it easy for students to find and submit assignments. Teachers create assignments, attach materials, and set due dates. Students access, complete, and submit assignments through this tab. People. The People tab is a directory of all class members, including teachers and students. It provides a list of participants and their roles within the class. Students can see who else is in the class, while teachers use this tab to manage student permissions and facilitate communication among class members. Once your lecturer gives an assignment, you will receive a notification on your stream that a new assignment has been posted. Click on the T Classwork tab. This is where all your assignments and continuous assessments are organized by your lecturer. Click on the assignment title to open it. Here, you'll see the assignment details, including the due date, instructions, and any attached materials. Take a moment to review everything your teacher has provided. Click on View Instructions. Here you will find the instructions given by your course lecturer and the point for the assessment. Click on the attached question to view the content. Here are the questions for you to answer. There are two ways to answer the questions. 1. Your lecturer may want you to provide your answers in this same document. In this case, the document will be editable and you can type your answers below the questions. This is also applicable to fill in the blank questions. 2. Your lecturer may want you to answer the questions in a separate document and attach the answer in the Google Classroom. Let's now return to Google Classroom to answer the questions. To start answering the questions, click on the Add or Create button. Once you click on the Add or Create button, this drop-down list will pop up. If you have already answered the questions and saved it as a document in your Google Drive, click on this option to attach the document from your Google Drive. If you need to provide a link to your document or a video on YouTube, select this option. If you have answered the questions and saved it as a document on your computer or mobile phone, select this option to attach the document. If you want to type the answer directly here, select this option to create a new document. If you want to use a slide, spreadsheet, or drawing, select the other options. In this tutorial, we will be showing you how to attach a document or answer directly. To attach the document containing your answers, click on the File option. Click on the Browser button to locate the document on your computer or phone. Select the document to attach. The document containing our answers has been attached. To submit our work, click on the Turn In button. Click on Turn In to confirm your submission. The course lecturer has marked and graded my work. To view my score, go to the Google Classroom homepage and click on the Class Work tab. Click on the View Your Work tab. Here is my grade, showing that I scored 28 over 30. Now that we have seen how to answer the questions and attach it as a separate document, 
Let us learn how we can answer the question directly from the Google Classroom. To do this, click on the Docs option from the drop-down list. When you click on Docs, the system automatically creates a blank document for you with your name as the title. Click on the blank document to type in your answers. Type in your answers here and close the tab. Our work has been submitted to the course lecturer. Once the lecturer reviews and grades the work, we will be able to view the score by going back to the Google Classroom homepage and clicking on the Classwork tab as earlier explained. Answering questions using Google Forms. Sometimes your lecturer may prefer to use Google Forms to assess you because it saves a lot of time, especially for objective questions. How do you answer assessment questions on Google Forms? First of all, go to your Google Classroom to view the announcement from your lecturer. On the stream, you will see a notification that an assignment has been given. Click on the notification. Click on the attached Google form containing the questions. Provide your information and answer the questions that follow by selecting the correct option for each question. Once you are done, click on the Submit button. Your score will be sent to your email as soon as you are graded.